Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel at Design with Maha. In today's vlog, we will be learning about how to create a simple car animation in Adobe Animate CC software. So in order to do this particular animation, we are in need of a car image, wheels for the car to move and as a background. Either you can draw these images or you can download PNG format of these particular images from Google. So in layer one, I'm going to create a background. I'm going for file, import, import to stage. And as I already have downloaded all those backgrounds required for this car animation, I'm just going to bring one particular background towards here. And towards the top, I'm just going to reduce the stage size in order to fit the background perfectly. And towards left side, I have free transform tool. By holding shift, I'm resizing it equally towards side, top and bottom. Once the resize is done, I'm giving control C in order to copy paste this particular image and control V. I'm moving it towards the left side and the alignment should be proper so make sure the alignment is proper when you do move the copied image and now by holding shift I'm highlighting both the backgrounds Control C and again I'm going for Control V and moving the entire image towards the left side so as a whole we have the particular background like this so layer 1 is done as for layer 2 I'm going to create a card file import and import to stage either you can draw a card previously in the beforehand or either you can download it as for downloading make sure it is in the png format or do convert it with the help of photoshop software and remove the background and save it in the png format so that it will be easy for you to create it so i am bringing the card towards the starting point of my background and as for layer 3 i am going to create a front wheel and layer 4 will be my back wheel. Even for the wheels I have created it separately or either you can download it from Google and convert it into PNG format with the help of Photoshop software or either you can draw, draw the particular wheel from Illustrator software or from the Photoshop software itself and to save it in the PNG format without the background. So as for front wheel, import, import to stage. As you can see, I have the wheel over here. It is in the PNG file format. I'm bringing it towards this particular stage. Here I am reducing my stage size in order to bring the wheel towards the inner part of my background. When you do resize a particular image, do hold shift button simultaneously so that the resize will be equal towards all the dimension and all the parts of your image. So as you can see, I'm just going to fit this particular wheel towards the car perfectly. So I'm just going to copy this particular wheel. I'm putting it towards the front part because the layer is in front wheel. And I'm going for the back wheel, control V for paste. And I'm just pasting it and aligning it properly towards the back side of the car. As you can see the wheel part is entirely done. So the background, car, front wheel and back wheel, everything is done now. We are going into the animation performance. I am locking the previous three layers in order to not disturb it. As in background layer, I am in timeline 0. Right click. And I am going for the option called create motion twin. As you can see till 30th frame I have given create motion twin till how much of a timeline number you want you can go till date till 150 as of now till 150 I am creating it insert keyframe and go for the option called all. So now come to 150 bring the highlighted timeline to 150 like this drag it towards the end till how much of a number timelines you want you can take it off till 150 and do push the background from left towards the right side as you can see you will get this dotted line so i'm just pushing the background from left towards the right side do it towards as a continuous process till you find the background stage appearing towards the behind the background as you can see i'm pushing it towards from left to right 
do it till you see the background thing stage so let me stop it over here so when you do give enter this is how your background will move so this particular animation will be for my background now let me come to the car layer so as for car layer you can see the car towards this particular end so i'm just moving the highlighted timeline till 150 as for the end of my timeline layer for the car layer right click and go for the option called insert frame because the card is going to be static and it is not going to perform any animation so just go for insert frame and now come for the option called front wheel and back wheel click front wheel at timeline 0 right click and repeat the same process create motion tween and now go till 150 as for the end of my timeline right click insert keyframe and under insert keyframe option do go for the option called rotation because now we are going to perform the wheel rotating animation technique so let me yeah, maximize my stage size and let me show you as you can see we have the wheel over here and now towards the right side you will see this option called ease nothing but the movement of your wheel and we have the option called orientation to path what will happen is that when you do click this orientation to path the car will move in a straight path without rotation but as of now i need rotate so under rotate i am going for counter clockwise or either you can go for clockwise as for the count i am going for 50x speed as you can see the rotation of wheel will be like this which is in counter clockwise or either you can go for the clockwise option also now let me repeat the same process for my back wheel right click create motion tween just give an ok for this dialog box and i'm going till 150 which will be my final timeline right click insert keyframe and go for the option called rotation and here i'm going for the option rotate under rotate i'm choosing counter clockwise and the count will be 50x speed and just give an enter as you can see this is how your car animation is going to be done so in order to see the final output i am giving control enter so as you can see this is how the car animation with the help of rotation option and also with the help of motion twin will be done in order to export it as a video go to file export export video option and here you will have the entire movie or if there is one particular scene you can just click onto the scene and give the timeline from which frame range to which frame range you need and then this is for the output wherever your destination you want you can save it as such i'm going for desktop as of now and even if you want you can rename it and as for the type you can either save it in mov or it may be in uh, whatever video format sizes or extensions you need you can save it as setups or maybe you can also save it in SWF format which will be a part of Adobe Animate CC output. So as you can see the exporting is in process. So when you do create a car animation make sure you have the background to be prepared in the beforehand and also the wheel and also for the car either you can draw it or do download it from the google and do create it with the help of photoshop software and convert it into a png format which will help you to eliminate the backgrounds so as you can see this is how the final animation will be looking as it is in the extension with a movie file format which is nothing but a video file format or maybe if you are not in need of this particular mov you can also go for control enter which will be in the swf format so you can go for file save export and go for the format called swf so that this is how your output will look so now we have come to end of today's vlog in the upcoming vlogs i will be teaching you about how to use adobe animate in a professional manner with all kind of sub animation option and all kind of other effects too hope you people found it interesting and educative too if so do like share and subscribe to my channel we'll meet you in a next interesting vlog with the same software until then take care